Oh man, what a what a character. <laughs> Anyways, hey, welcome in everybody to another segment here. We got the hunters in studio for our roll Q2. We got Netroid Vote and Barracuda. And gentlemen, we're gonna talk about some patch notes. We're gonna talk about the new patch notes that came out. 10.5, the Vishojo update. Got a lot of new skins in the game, but got a lot of changes to the game as well. We're gonna start with probably. You know what? I'll, I'll open the floor up. Is there anything in particular you guys really liked about this patch? Any, anything that kind of stuck out to you guys you were excited to see in this patch? Hachimon. Hachimon buffs? Yeah. Yeah, I could be Hachimon. Some yeah, Hachimon tanks buff. have less mitigation. That's good. True. Tanks have less mitigation. So, yeah, we'll talk about those as we go through. We'll just start in uh, general changes to Conquest that did happen a little bit less on the, start, on the setup time now. So, it's no longer almost two minutes before you actually hit zero seconds to start the game. Now, drop down to 90 seconds in, in there. Um, another thing that actually popped up is whenever you get the, the global sound cue, normally for gold, furies, fires, pyros, you always get the sound cue, but now you also get the map indication as well mm -hmm. that goes on immediately. So you'll get no longer have to walk all the way up to the camp in order to get that. So small little changes there. Stuff to joust and to duel. That doesn't affect SPL, though. So let's jump into some of the item changes and some of the just general changes. Let's start with mitigation one, the one that you guys mentioned. Now caps at 25%, except for... If a god ability specifically takes it over 25% or certain given items like Aegis, obviously you're not going to nerf Aegis to only be a 25% damage mitigation. So as hunters, I mean, what are some of your thoughts on now having mitigation capped at that 25%? Net? Mm, I think it's, I mean, it's better, of course, as a hunter, because now you're just not going to be hitting someone for like 60 or 70 <laughs> sometimes, you know? So yeah, I mean, I'm happy for my role at least. So. Yeah. What about you, Vote? Thanks, take more damage equals good. Equals good. Vera, same yeah, thoughts? Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, let's talk about one item that was very meta for the Hunters. Started falling out of favor and probably won't be seeing a... Give me your thoughts on now Blood Forge. It's been reverted back, costs 2,600 gold. He's got its 75 power, your life steal, movement speed. No longer has the attack speed on it, though. I, I, I imagine probably with those changes, not going to be seeing a Hunter roll anymore. No, I think you'll definitely still see it in the Hunter roll. Oh, yeah? Uh, I think it's pretty good to rush in certain lanes if you're going to be playing aggressively. Or you want to like spike for the pro camp or like spike for purple um but i think diva is probably still going to be the more consistent option but i think blood forge is definitely a viable option in adc okay so maybe still seeing the item there mm -hmm. kind of same thoughts with you two on there maybe yeah, for sure. maybe not every single game but maybe kind of sprinkled in there every so often yeah the movement speed still definitely feels nice for adc especially is cow giving yeah. movement speed yeah if you're alone okay well mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. <laughs> no, people in my chat were like, Cal's not giving movement speed. Oh, maybe it's bugged. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if it's bugged, but that's what I was I like. Was I was to. like, maybe I'm just stupid and I just don't notice it right now. I was meant to. Yeah. Possibly there. Um, <laughs> other changes that did come through press play regrowth, small nerf, cost a little bit more gold to get. Now the stats changed on there. Mm -hmm. um, give me your thoughts now, though, on Cannoneer's Cure. It's the item, build it, you hit a minion, it blows up the minion, you give gold to a nearby ally. As hunter players, obviously, I don't see you guys probably ever building this item because you want to get the gold yourself, not give it to someone else. But do you think this could become something maybe viable from the support role to kind of rush this early, get yourself some extra gold online fast? I think what supports do should come into lane, kill a minion, leave, <laughs> come back for the last minion, kill it again. Yeah, yeah I agree. That's how you yeah. play perfectly. Yeah, Either ADC, just don't hit the minions, just like only last hit. Yeah. But then as an ADC, you kill all but two minions. Mm -hmm. So you get a solo farm, of course. Mm -hmm. Then they come in last hit, so you get the procs. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think it's- That's the most efficient way. Yeah, I think it's like 15 gold that you get each proc. It went from an ICD of 20 seconds. It used to be before you could use it again to now seven seconds. You can mm -hmm. technically, if you're super efficient, get three procs in almost the exact same amount of time. So maybe, maybe that's see it in there. For me, that's busted, yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. I don't know if it will like outweigh prophetic most of the time, mm -hmm. but maybe for like early spikes or if you want like a scaling hunter to get ahead, then you just go cannoneers. Obviously not us building it, but right. our supports, yeah. Yeah, no, you guys aren't building this. This is something that somebody else has to build to give you more gold because you got to get your builds on faster. Mm -hmm. um, another item that did get a bit of a buff, obviously won't affect, again, the hunters here, but now Phalanx getting a buff. For those unfamiliar with what Phalanx did, it was essentially old tyrannical plate helm. You get hit with a basic attack, and now not only your minions, but you as a player get a little bit of a buff as well. You get some attack speed. Uh, you get a little bit of protection as well. Won't be affecting you guys too much I there. Think, I think it affects us a lot. That affects us that a lot. That'll be so OP. Yeah. Yeah. It's 81 fish plot for 2,200 gold. Mm. 30% attack speed. Yeah, back in my day, we didn't have those items. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that man. is a stat stick that in is, a half. That is OP. <laughs> yeah. 
and it only gets proct when you go auto attacked. Mm-hmm. So every time you hit a solo, you know, just don't hit him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't wait for Avalona to just like sit in front oh, of yeah, me no, with a sure, paralyzing yeah. ranked, you know. So. Yeah, that's right. You guys would be having to fight against that all the time. So maybe not going to be too fun for you guys there. Uh, Stone of Gaia getting a little bit of a cooldown change in its uh, ICD from 20 to 15 seconds. Costs a little bit less. Uh, let's talk about Spectral, though, because this one does affect the Hunters as far as Crit. Crit was already kind of circulating out of the meta. Now Spectral has been changed, so it's now an Aura Crit Reduction, 30% on the Aura there. And then if you get hit by a Crit, you get power from it as well. So do you imagine that this is maybe the, the final nail in the coffin to Crit at the moment, or you think that with the changes of Spectral, maybe kind of see it sprinkled in there? I think it's a nail in the coffin. Yeah. Maybe you get a Crit item last now, so you kind of, like, can like surprise crit somebody mm -hmm. but i'm not b gonna build crit early like it's <laughs> yeah no it's way. pretty much that in my opinion uh you can you can i, I think you can build, build it if you're like kind of ahead from the beginning let's mm -hmm. say you're just you got a first blood and stuff maybe you can sneak a crit there and force someone to go spectral but apart from that now nah, that the crit is dead now <laughs> <laughs> do you think that now that it's changed to an aura because it used to be like just you personally, you would get the reduced crit. Allies around would get a little bit of extra, but do you no, think that, that this is now because it's aura, we still see multiple spectrals build, or is this still just a as long as one I think person it's just gets it? Like, so then it gets there, you just die for the jungler. Jungler takes no damage. Mm. Yep. The protector as well. Okay. They are to, protector Only 250 prots. You know. Protector is so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, protector is a bit crazy. Um, let's talk about for a moment uh, a shift in war flag now war flag something we've like i don't think ever seen at spl level maybe like one time in, in some of the uh the games that quote unquote don't matter near end of season or end of phase um item now provides gold per enemy minion and jungle monster assist rather than requiring the lowest gold so now instead of you have to have lowest gold on your team it's just you get the you get the gold and, the, and whatnot for it any chance that you think we ever see a war flag pop up for a support? Or do you think this item pretty much stays out of the conquest area? I think it stays out. Uh, I think the other support items are just better. Uh, maybe you'll see it with like maybe like a Horus lane or something like super aggressive. People go war flag and try to run it down, but I still think the other support items are just better. Mm. Yeah, I think passion's too good. Sentinel's too good. Yeah, I mean, you you, you look at the heroes in late game with the benevolence, yeah. and then you, yeah. there's no way you're building. Yeah. Yeah. Like. War Flag is super fun in the non-conquest modes because you build yeah, that yeah. and Talisman of Energy, yeah, yeah. you just get a double proc and yeah. just keep running it down. A lot of fun there. Um, one god that maybe we'll be seeing a little bit less of now, maybe hunters and people can rejoice in general. Hell gets a little bit of a nerf, a little slap on the wrist. Takes a little bit, pretty much just less healing in general. Not a ton of healing taken off, but a little bit less through. Uh, I believe it was about 10 per level on the one uh or 10 base and then the per level scaled down as well so i think at max end it's like minus 30 healing at the very top and then for her heal as well getting a little bit less per level and a little bit less ally heal i think we're still going to be seeing hell though just from yep. the utility yep. and healing yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah all right all right and then that another one quite the god to lane against right now that yeah. is just an experience and then actually speaking about uh laning against her now her healing on minions has been halved. Oh boy. So she only does half healing to minions. Yeah, she shouldn't heal minions. <laughs> yeah, it, it, shouldn't, so it shouldn't heal minions from the beginning, but uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, I like how we all the same experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they brought the, the Sylvanas Wisp heal, I was like, wow, that's, that's it's been a while since we've seen that, but it only heals from like 25% yeah. or something like that. I think it got buffed up to like 35, but uh, another one that feels like it probably won't do too much to him necessarily. Hercules got a little bit of a nerf. His one and two both be taking an extra second now, 11, 11 to 12. Still imagine we'll probably be seeing this guy run Menace in the solo lane. Yeah, as long as his one does like 380 base damage and his ult does 800 base damage, I yes. think the god would just be yeah. good. Yeah, it's pretty good, surprisingly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't matter low cooldowns. Uh, God that did get a cooldown nerf, and in my opinion, deservedly so. Horus, his dash, which was originally 16 seconds, then got buffed up to 10 seconds, has now been nerfed to the halfway point of 13 seconds. But even removing a, a few seconds off the heel, imagine we're probably going to be seeing this, seeing this guy in the support role. Probably. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah. Was above like let's have some fun watching Horus have a, like 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh my God. Was yeah, it you, for fun or? Yeah. You, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you build thirty percent CDR. You get you get the warrior passive. You get a six second dash that across was matches so to heal. <laughs> messed up, yeah. But it, it was funny to see, you know, all go Morus and then he just dash away. Oh, mm -hmm. and then he just comes back and dash away again. That is not. It was like, not fun. It's like watching a Bacchus or a walk through the jungle and every camp he's just eating a minion from it because <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. a ridiculously low cooldown. So probably be seeing more Horus. 
Let's talk about another one. Vamana gets a little bit of a nerf. One extra second on his dash. Not the biggest thing there. Um, 15 power knocked off of his ultimate, as well as a portion of his HP given to him as a shield. It's now 0.75% of his max HP as a shield, and now has a cap of 1,000. You think this does too much to Vamana? I think, you think that we're still going to be seeing him. I think it's not enough. Not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. He's just like he's just immortal, like from early to maybe late game as well. Uh, if he gets a good engage with his ult, he's just gonna kill you. And it feels like he's critting every auto, every, even though he doesn't yep. even have crit, so... And Felix. Yeah, oh, and then Felix. Felix. The way you kill that god is, I mean, not kill him, just make him not go through walls in his ult. That's the only change I had to make, I think. Bring back uh, bring back the... Uh, Maybe some, like, counterplay yeah. of drafts. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's just nothing you can do. Yeah. Okay, okay. So probably still be seeing Vamana. One guy we haven't seen very much of as of recent. I don't know if this buff necessarily brings her back. Dodgy does get a little bit of cooldown reduction on her dash. No longer is 17 flat. Now goes 17 to 15. Don't know if that's enough to bring her back necessarily. But as the Hunters, let's talk about the Hunter that did get a pretty decent buff in his own regard. Hachiman now joins the fray. Not only does he get MP5 with his passive, also gets attack speed. Scales up to a maximum of 20% at level 20 and at max sack when you have it through. Eagle Eye, his first ability now gets additional power, was originally 10 scaling to 30, plus 110%. Now, oh, it scrolled away, goes 20 scaling to 60, so it's effectively been doubled as its bonus damage, and now 120% of your basic attack damage. And Heavenly Banner also getting 10 extra power at all ranks for wave clear. Hachiman, uh, do you think maybe top three Hunter, kind of joining the ranks of like CERN, ROM, uh, and maybe Izanami, or do you think that he just kind of comfortably moves himself up in the bank? In the bank I think he definitely jumps up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his one, does, sure. his one does so much damage now. It's actually crazy. It's very surprising yeah. when you get one, and you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. I'm dead. Oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Ned? Uh, I mean, it's kind of big because I, I remember I was like hitting someone at level four. I was hitting for like 50, 60, just normal damage. And then I just mm -hmm. put my one, and it's almost 100. Like, so yeah. mm -hmm. That's a, like really it changes like the 1v1 as well like you're like oh i'm winning this and then he just like autos double the damage and it's yep. just like yeah it really feels like it gives him an insane amount of boxing do you think that getting the extra attack speed maybe changes up his build or you think that it still just kind of runs the standard hunter build throughout i've been seeing what like xe kins odysseus bow dominance those kind of things yeah do you think that getting the extra attack speed in this kit plus having the banner attack speed maybe changes the build at all I don't think so. I don't think uh, so, yeah. No? Really, no. I mean, I'm going to a different build than other people, so. <laughs> Bear's just doing bear things. Yeah. I know build. Screen build. Screen build. Screen build. <laughs> I, I can't typed a lot of math, I and I was like, no, don't do it. <laughs> the screen build. I, I can't be good I, I've tuned into a couple of, uh, a couple of screen streams, and uh, let me tell you, that that man is cooking up something every single time that stream. He in the too. kitchen. He stays burning. He lives in the <laughs> he, he moved his bed into the kitchen at this point. He is living <laughs> yeah. in the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, Jormungandr. Haven't seen Jorm in quite some time out of the solo lane. And now some changes to him. His, uh, his two, his big AoE roar around him. A little bit of cooldown on there. One second taken off. And now his submerge, when he goes down under and starts creeping around, always has the movement speed, uh, buff for himself. No longer ha does it break whenever he is revealed from stealth and gets a little bit of cooldown, at least at the beginning of it there. You think that these are enough to maybe bring Jormungandr kind of back? Do you think no. that maybe we've seen the snake? Nope. No. 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 No, not. I think the gods of the meta are just good into Yorm. And then on top of that, I don't think Yorm is a good character. <laughs> yeah, every time he ults, he just stands there and it's like a free three or four arrows for the ADC. And then, uh, I don't know, I feel like he's just too slow, you know, too slow on the map. Also, probably with Prophetic in the meta, like him ulting your backline, I think, was the only good thing about the kit late game when mm -hmm. he was like two shotting your backliners. But right. now with Prophetic, there's no way he's mm -hmm. doing that. Okay. Let's talk about um, at least a little bit of a buff to a magical hunter, Olaron. His second <laughs> ability gets uh, 10 extra base damage. Huge. <laughs> gets 10 extra base damage. Probably not enough. We haven't really seen magical hunters for quite some time. Felt like, I think it was what, like 10 was point, that? Huh? 10 point on the change. Two ten, yeah, that was the change. <laughs> change. That's change. He gets 10 extra base power on, on his second ability. Okay. Uh, we haven't seen Magical Hunters in a while, though, but do you imagine now with maybe Crit kind of falling down a little bit, no. not seeing as much? <laughs> no. no no chance we see Magical Hunters Probably come not. back up. Yeah, it's like, can they build duos? Can they build Blood Forge? No? Okay. No. <laughs> Probably not playing it. I'm sure that aim along with Demonic is kind of bad. Mm -hmm. Demonic's still OP, though. Yeah. Okay. So probably no match. 7% pen for 200 Bro, it's DK. so bad. Every time I put that on him, it's so bad. Nah, you, Bro, you're you, trolling. You, you gotta hit the autos for Demonic. I am hitting the autos, <laughs> and it goes up by 2 damage. <laughs> when you go back home, look at the item and tell me it's bad. For two, I have! For 2.3k. <laughs> I have! Should, should, should I pull nah. it up right now, bro? Rather than 
Here we go. More Demonic pen. grip. Bro, more, you were a troll. More pen, more attack speed. Yeah, and you still auto for three. That's a mage's problem. That was good, nah, though. That's true, that's true. <laughs> Here you go. So it's, it's a uh, clash problem. Right, I'll concede it's the mage problem, but the yeah. item might be okay. Yeah. Look, every time I built it, I'm like, look, it's 75 power, 30 percent attack speed, and you reduce magical protections by nine yeah. percent. If Cyclopean was a magical kin size and it was actually a good item, then demonic would be a good item. Okay. Okay. It's so a clash problem. So what, <laughs> <laughs> so what we're hearing is buff Cyclopean, and then yeah, demonic yeah. will be up there with it, maybe. Yeah, what actually. That, it will, it will yeah. be good, I Every think. time I build Cyclopean, I'm like, this item should be good, and then I'm like, this item is terrible. Yep. <laughs> it will make hunter, uh, Magical Hunters viable, at least, because I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it will be every single game a Magical Hunter, but mm -hmm. at least it will be viable, you know? Brings a little bit of variety yeah. to it, maybe. Uh, let's talk about uh, Soul Enders that may be potentially be coming back now that Phalanx has been buffed. Talk about not wanting to attack any kind of auto attack based warrior. Uh, Osiris popping up, gets a little bit more HP 5, a little bit more base Fizz prot, and his Flail dealing a little bit more damage, only about 10. Maybe seeing him pop up, maybe with the Phalanx buff changes. Uh, Set eating a bit of a shift, nerf slash buff at the same time. Uh, whenever you cast your Sandstorm, uh, some changes around there. I did get a cooldown reduction in it, uh, but based on whenever you use the clone, the actual teleport, or if you just use it for duration, we'll determine if it's actually a buff or a shift there. Soul gets two seconds off of her heal. Big there. Wow. <laughs> I figure probably not too much in that one, nope. at least. Okay. Sun Wukong, he gets a little bit of extra power. Not a huge one there. Let's talk about maybe the big elephant in the room, or I should say maybe the guy with the biggest sword in the game, Tyr. Now his ultimate. Gonna have, outrageous. Going to have a stun or more damage, depending on which stance you are in. We expecting Tyr to pop himself right back up to the top of the meta. I think it's the biggest circle in the game, and it just stuns you. Mm -hmm. On a god that forces beads already. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's such a weird feeling now as a backliner, like trying to decide what to beads against that character. Because, like, you just get stunned out of nowhere. It's like, okay, do I just beads this? Do I wait for him to fearless me? Or do I just, like, stay here and just <laughs> decide? Like, if you don't beads are stunned, he just blue stands knock shop anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe be seeing some more tier. I, mean, I think and you I'll, can react to it if he's like in front of you. You can, you can tell what stance he's in, but if it's over a wall, you're cooked. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just going to hit no matter what at that point. And also to note with that, not only is it the one second stun, he also still retains the three second slow that comes with being hit by it. So you're oh, stunned cool. and oh, you're also cool. stunned. I didn't know that. Yeah. I actually didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> yeah I, I talked with Aggro and Lermy about it after after the patch notes. We did the dev inside, and they said that the slow does still hold on there. So he's not losing the slow for the, either the one second stun or the base damage increase. It is just he gets those as additional benefits That's there fun. so is that offense stance buff by the way just for the achievement in the game because <laughs> i've thought about that i'm like that's literally an impossible achievement oh yeah Which you, one? you, you have, have to, to kill 15 gods in a single match with your ultimate oh i can push you I, I <laughs> that might be the hardest achievement in the game that might be the one with the lowest actual yeah. count Maybe it was. Maybe, maybe just go full damage trying. arena and you'll get it, you know. Yeah. But still, Especially you doing 25% get... more damage now. The thing is, you got to get 15 individual yeah, kills. Yeah, but you just over go full damage and just fill in one guy. So, any final thoughts on the on the new patch coming up for this next week of the SPL? Probably see, be seeing some changes, I imagine. Tier pops through, the Hachiman. Any kind of final thoughts on the patch moving forward for this week? Overall, good. And obviously, I think the tier buff affects all three of us the most. Mm -hmm. A scary character. Yeah. yeah. Playmaking character, though. I'm going to be seeing yeah. maybe some highlight reel plays popping up with there. But, gentlemen, thanks for coming by for the patch notes review. But make sure that you at home are sticking around because we've got plenty more to be going through. We've got all kinds of great stuff hanging out here with our pros for our role checking. So make sure you stick around, and we'll be back in just a little bit with our next segment.